So welcome back. This is a quick uh, enzyme review slash unboxing of the Banana Pi M2 Plus. It's a new single board computer based on uh, all winner H3 uh, quad core processor. It's a Cortex A7 quad core processor and it's like the Raspberry Pi. I'll show you the board, how it looks like. So, this is the package you get from Sinovoip company. And I'll show you how it looks like inside. Main specifications uh, like I said, it's a quad core CPU based on H H3 system on chip. It has 1 GB RAM and 8 GB internal storage. And you, has, and you also have a micro SD card slot here, so you can use. You're not limited by space. So very compact design computer here you have four, four, uh, 40 pin headers interface on the right you have a camera interface so you can buy a camera mo model and uh, connect it to an external camera IR receiver for remote control unit OTG connection here this is the power key. On the left, you have a reset button here. U boot key also, button here, small button here. Two chips here are for the RAM, 1 GB RAM. This is the CPU in the middle, the chip here. It has a built in Wi Fi module, so you don't need to use any external dongle. So you have Wi Fi built in the product and you have UART interface here, three pins here what else? let's go to the back side you have two USB uh, ports connections, version 2 uh, LAN connection also built in, HDMI no analog connection on the board but it's enough if you have an HDMI interface and the power, it supports 5V 2 amps a power supply unit, very nice board and small and it supports Kodi and that's the good news and also supports uh, Android 5.0 or 5.1 operating systems and you can run Linux on it, very cool product so I hope you enjoy my quick review of the Banana Pi M2 Plus thanks for watching and bye So come back. This is a quick uh, demo of the Open ELEC image uh, for the Banana Pi M2 Plus version development board. So from Sinovoip, very nice company. And I'll show you how it works. They've managed to make a nice uh, Open ELEC version for the board. Here you can see system information about the CPU, RAM, percentage is pretty low, I think. CPU resources. A Mali 400 MP is the GPU unit. And some uh, information about the hardware. You can see it's all winner. And it runs Kodi 16.0 release candidate version. Additional information about Open ELEC you can find here. It's a development, I think, uh, version. You can see all the information here. So it's a big plus that the board supports Open ELEC, and I'll show you a few samples from my collection to show you how it works. 1080p resolution works really nice. Zero problems. 3D minds at Brad Tilt are proud to present a unique look at This is a 3D because the split, uh, the screen is split into two screens, so but it looks fine. This is a 1080p also.
also works without any legs, pretty smooth. So that's number two, number three. So 1080p is not a problem, 4K videos also okay, not perfect, playback but okay, some with lag, some are smooth, this is a bad example, again it depends on the bitrate of the file played, some are okay, this is a 60 frames per second, 1080p, not what I wanted to show you, here is a good example. This is a 4K video also, also works smooth. So that's a 4K also, also works nice. So that's basically it, a few points to mention, this version currently doesn't support any Wi-Fi connectivity, they are working on a new build that will fix all the problems, so just a note about this, pretty nice open ELEC version, works uh, not bad, 1080p, perfectly fine. I hope you enjoyed my quick uh, demo of this version for the Banana Pi M2 Plus version and thanks for watching and of course bye bye and you're welcome to join my YouTube channel see you next time